Welcome back everyone. Now the first thing you're gonna say is Z, why is it day? Wasn't it night last time? Well the reason why it's day is because I went and bought some um, laurels because we'll need them to get to the next mansion. Now where did I buy them? Well I bought them to the right. Now if you go right there's a certain town that where you can buy laurels. Now I'm not going to say what the name of the town is because that's the town we have to go to in part 6, the last part. So I'm not going to say anything about it. This was just a little thing I needed to do to get laurels because we really need laurels. Yeah. That, that's just how it is. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't change. I just need laurels. Anyways, the next mansion is Laruba Mansion. The Dracula part, the last one is... you'll wait. So anyways. To get to Laruba Mansion, which is the next mansion, we have to go left. Now if you go left, you'll get to Bodley Lake. After passing this little, you know, part. This is Bodley Lake. Now if you remember correctly in Yuba Lake, what you have to do is select the blue crystal, kneel down, and then the lake would go down and you could pass down. Yeah. Well, this time you do the same thing as if you use the red crystal. So kneel down and then... There we go. Anyways, now where will this take us? Well, this little um, part down here will take us to death. Yeah, there you go. Why didn't I go the upper? Ah, really? That was really stupid. I'm, I'm serious right now. This will take us to the Uda Lower Road. This place is kind of dangerous, I must admit. Yep, this is the Uda Lower Road. Now, there's a funny thing about this place, and that is that... um. Let's see if the nail works. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't. Um, now, the Uda Lower Road has the last whip upgrade. That's right, the last one. So, yeah. You would probably want to go here. Alright, just wait a sec. I think you should be able to pass here. Wait a minute. There we go. I think... Wait, let's see if the nail works. Wait, why doesn't the nail do anything? And if I use holy water... Yeah, I don't know why the nail doesn't work. Anyways, this guy right here. I'll give you your... I'll give your morning star power to burn away evil. And guess what we got? The flame whip! Which is the most powerful whip in the game. Now, in order to get the flame whip, you first must have the morning star. Or he won't... This guy won't give you the... Ugh. See, see, this is why this is horrible. Seriously, it literally is horrible. He won't give you the flame whip unless you have the morning star first, so yeah. That's the thing. So yeah, the flame whip, as you can see, it's really awesome. So, yeah, you better have it for this part, because you're gonna need it. Anyways, I think I probably need holy water here. I have no idea why. Wait a minute. Oh, you have to use the nail and then hit... To do it. Okay, so we don't need this. Just keep the nail on. Oh, and look at these guys, these skulls. Okay, so watch out for these guys. They can be really annoying. But with the flame freaking whip, they're not that hard, I guess. Watch out! Oh, it's close one. Okay. Um, die. There we go. Now, we should probably watch out for fake blocks here. There are a lot of fake blocks here from what I understood, so yeah. Probably watch out for that. Just saying. Okay, we have to reach the end of this place. Now, I think down there is the end, but I just want to see something here first. Hold up. Freaking skulls. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoa. Whoa. And whoa. Okay, everything's going good for now. Oh, yeah, I need it. Oh, I guess these are not. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, we have to go this way. Hold up, how do we get up? Oh, yes. We can slow down. Okay. 
There we go. Let's keep going. Well, that's about everything there is to show up here. I fell. Great. Just great. Oh. Well, there's really nothing else that's really interesting to show off here in the Uda Lower Road, so let's keep going. Let's go to the left. This is the Devious Woods. The Devious Woods. Look at that. That's a Flame Man. Now, the Flame Man can be killed. Okay, we'll probably need the rib here. Now, the weird thing is that the Flame Man can be... Wait, what? Does it work? Weird. Uh, hold up. The Flame Man can be killed by flames. That is really weird. Now, if you use the eye, you'll see the last clue book here. Dracula's evil knife blurs Camilla. Not Carmilla. Vision. He's probably that clue book is probably talking about the gold knife, and yeah, that is the last clue book in the um in the whole game. Yep, definitely. Last clue book. So we're done with those clue books. Oh, this again? Come on. Okay, so yeah, these are the devious woods, and they really are devious, aren't they? Look at this. Anything that has those freaking blocks is freaking devious. And I still don't understand how that guy can be killed by fire. It's really weird. Oh, thank you. Seriously. Come on. There we go. Yeah, these guys are probably all gonna die in one hit now. Okay, this is the Yoma Marsh East. The East Yoma Marsh. Now this place is really dangerous because you're gonna need a lot of laurels to go to get past this place. This is basically the Yoma Marsh and this is the east side. Really dangerous, you're gonna need laurels. That's about it. So let's go fast. And I screwed up. Oh no. There we go. Just ignore these guys for the most part. Keep going. Uh, uh. Oh, we did it. Okay, we passed, we passed the Joma Marsh. And this is it, Laruba Mansion. If you go this way, you'll get to the West Joma Marsh. Now, if you keep going left through the Joma Marsh to the West... Blah, if you keep going left through the Joma Marsh West, you'll get to the Carmilla Cemetery, the east side of the Carmilla Cemetery. You remember that ledge we couldn't make last time in Carmilla Cemetery? Well, keep going left, you'll get to the east side. Yep, it's like a shortcut back to the um, original area, basically. So you, we really don't have to go that way. Anyways, alright, this is Laruba Mansion, so let's go. Get that freaking last Dracula part. Alright, this is it. Should get prepared for this. I don't need those laurels anymore. You can also buy laurels in um, Laruba Mansion as well, so... Yeah, and we will need Laruba... Well, we will need Laruba Mansion. We will need laurels to get back through the um, Eastern Joma Marsh, so... We'll need to buy those, just saying. I'm probably gonna select the um, freaking nails, to be honest. Okay, let's... Ugh. Don, there we go. Alright, let's keep going. Everything's going good as of now, so yeah. This is the last mansion in the game, so yeah. And we came here pretty fast, I must have been. Alright, where did he come from? Whoa. Oh, look, they're jumping. They haven't done that since the first game. Kind of nostalgic, actually. Okay, now down here, hold up this guy. Probably need a sacred flame for this. Come 
Come on. There we go. We just done that. All right, go down here. Drop a little flames and die. Okay. Same thing here. Drop a little flames and uh, die. Oh, spiders! Change color again. Whoa! This guy, I think. I beg of you to take these laurels. Oh wow, yes, this guy basically just gives you all maximum 8 laurels. We're freaking awesome now. Wait, what? Yeah, you can basically restock anytime and just get laurels all the time. You'll need them, to be honest. Yeah, isn't that kind of like a bit um, too easy? I mean, you got so much laurels, it's freaking insane. Yeah, it kind of breaks the game, honestly. Well, in a way, but still, doesn't matter. After all, we do need laurels. And a lot of them. Now, I think first we need the oak stake, so we have to go this way. Before we get Dracula's last part. So, let's keep going. Oh, what the? Hmm, how am I still alive? That's the thing I don't understand. Okay, go up. I think we need to go up. I'm not sure where we have to go exactly. Wow, they're not even killing me. For some reason. And I'm dead. Whatever. Screw it. I have one more life. Oh, look, he's jumping. Great. Come on. Oh, what the? Ah. Uh, those bones of his remind me of the um, axe. Man, I miss the axe. And the boomerang. And the old holy water. And whatever happened to that friggin' clock, man. Seriously. Man, do I miss the clock. Okay, this guy should give us the um, oak stick. Hold up. Let me talk to the guy. Invest in an oak stick, sure. Okay, we have that, so we're good. Okay, let's go. Now we have to get to the um, to the part of Dracula. It's the next stop. Okay, wait a minute. Probably use the golden knives. Oh, what the? Come on. Okay, I think we're almost there, actually. Whoa, we fell all the way down. Ah. Okay, here we go. Whoa. You, come on. Look at this. Okay, I think this is it. And I think... This is Carmilla. Floating head. I know. How freaking great. Am I right? Um, we might as well use laurels here since we really won't need that many of them. And I really don't want to die, so I want to save my heart. Carmilla, yeah, that's what the Carmilla Cemetery is based off, basically. And she protects the last Dracula part. So yeah, finally a boss. And the golden knife, as you read in the book, really does a lot of um, damage to her. So you should probably use this the most. Yeah, that was freaking easy. And we get the magic cross. The magic cross. Yep. This cross, as you can see, is located up. Why up instead of down? Well, it's a special item. We'll need it to get to Dracula's castle, so... It's not used in battle and stuff. It's used to get Dracula's castle. And, well, we get another item. Dracula's last part, which is... <sighs> you now possess, for the last time, Dracula's ring. Yep, it's a ring. Kind of looks like the um, red ring from uh, The Legend of Zelda, you know, the one that gives you the um, um, better clothes, armor. It really does look like it. 
Doesn't do anything here, why'd I do that? Doesn't do anything here, but we'll do something later on, so... We'll need, we'll need that as well to get to uh, Draco's castle, so that's good. That's good, we have the freaking Draco's ring, the last part. So as you can see, we have all the Dracula parts now, and the magic cross. So we're ready to um, go to Dracula's castle, so let's do that. But first, before that, we have to get out of here. Oh, ignore you. Yeah, she like drops tears and stuff, I don't know. And yeah, Carmilla, that's the Carmilla Cemetery, same thing. That's what the name came from. I don't want to die now. And I'm almost going to die, so I have to be really careful now. Um, what the, eh. Oh, I, I went the wrong way. What do I do now? Oh, yeah, I have laurels. What am I freaking talking about? I uh, Well, yeah, we can actually restock since we're already here. Which is freaking awesome. There we go. I'll just keep using them since we have so many of them. Oh, boy. This is going to be a long way back. I didn't want to do that. Whatever. Wait a minute. Oh, that way. No! What have I done? What have I done? Oh no, this is not good. This is... No! Now I lost all my... Ah! Oh no! Ow! We, okay, I did it. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, now I'm level 5. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Just one more level left. Level 6, and we're done with the leveling up. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. He's following me. Anyways, that's it with this. So, as you can see, we have all the five Dracula parts. The rib, the heart, the eye, the nails, and the ring. Up there, we also have the magic cross, which will help us gain access in... Castlevania, a.k.a. Dracula's Castle. I think we're pretty much ready to do this. Yep, we're ready to do this. We're freaking ready. Okay, we're definitely ready. But anyways, see you all in part 6. Where we're going back to Castlevania, a.k.a. Dracula's Castle, to finish him off. See you then.